Daytime. I'm Cindy Edwards. And I'm Lindsay McDonald. Thank you so much for joining us today. Hey, programs like So You Think You Can Dance and Dancing with the Stars have been tremendous for the world of dance. The dancers we see on TV just make it look effortless, but it took blood, sweat, and tears to get to where they are. Douglas Gillespie and Leslie Krauss join us now from the award-winning Kate Weir Company. And they are going to talk to us about what it takes to go from being a person who likes to strike a pose to an actual professional dancer. Good to have you both here. Thank Thanks you. For having I think you're actually the first two guests we've ever had that aren't wearing shoes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and look yeah. how beat up they are. We, <laughs> we have seen you both dance online, and it is a very physical form of dance that you do, right? It's extremely physical. Uh, yes. Is this, would, how would you describe this? Contemporary, modern, or a mix of a whole kind of different genres? Um, it's definitely contemporary and modern. Uh, we do have some influences from other you know, uh, other walks of life, tango being one. Um, but in general, yes, we're a contemporary modern dance company. And what kind of training does that take compared to, say, someone working for a ballet company? Um, the training is uh, much lower, actually. Uh, ballet tends to take the weight very high, and uh, it's very presentational. And, and in general, uh, modern is a bit more animal. It's, it's a bit lower, a little bit more primitive, actually. Mm. Um, not primitive, but it's simple, but... Um, in general, it's a little bit more grounded. But it's sensual also as it's grounded. It's extremely sensual. As you said, kind of animal-like in a way. Very, very animal-like the way we sort of deal with one another and okay. also how we sort of present ourselves to the audience. Yeah, we're looking at video right now. And uh, is that the two of you there? Well, with the, with the other there. two, you're in there, right? Yes. Yep. I couldn't take my eyes off this yesterday. And a lot of times your company, the, the Kate Ware company, does not use music. Um, no, often we don't. We the What we'll show you today has no music at all. It's body percussion that we're using on one another. Mm -hmm. So we're actually making the music. And the, and the, um, the stomping of the feet, the touching. The feet, well, also uh, actual. We'll hit each There's other a lot of hitting. Yeah, yeah. 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 you're see it. Yes. Yeah. That's why I noticed you're both bruised. <laughs> is that why you're bruised or is it for other reasons? <laughs> a little bit of both, maybe. Yeah. A little bit of both. So, Douglas, you know. tell us, when did you start dancing? Uh, when I was 17. Oh, it's 17. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's quite a bit later than a lot of dancers, oh, a professional lot, yeah. dancers. Yeah, most, I mean, most women, you know, get the opportunities to start younger. And I think when my parents called the studios to say, like, can, um, you know, to find out how to get a student into studio, they didn't say, like, my son wanted to get into the studio. So a lot of studios will let men come in for free just because they need boys, yeah, especially man. here in Florida. Sure. Mm -hmm. You know, they need as many boys as possible to come in and, you know, lift the women around. So <laughs> I didn't start until I was 17 because uh, um, one of my teachers saw me in a pep rally dancing with another, like, hip-hop group. Oh, oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you went from hip-hop to modern. Dancing. Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to ask, what you, what's your opinion of all these dance shows that are on right now? Do you think it's... it's gr great for dance or do you think it makes it look too simple? Um, I think it's sort of a double-edged sword. Uh, I think it gets, th there is excitement about dance is so wonderful mm. that people really are getting so much more involved in an art form that I don't think is, has as much momentum as theater and um, other forms but uh, but then in the other way it, it can, you know, it, it's it can kind of flash it out and, and the deeper more artistic level can sometimes be Undercut. Because they can say, look, we took this celebrity who didn't know how to dance, and now they're an expert dancer. But they're yeah, really not expert an expert dancer in the end. Right. I mean, they're only as good as their partner, and their partner's great. So that their partner really makes them shine. To oh, see yeah. true dancers, we have to see you guys. You guys are performing tomorrow, correct? Yes, yes. we are. All right, tell us about the performance. Well, we're going to be showing a, a bunch of works, about five works. And um, you'll see a couple different duets. You'll see... Um, Actually, what you just saw in the video, yeah. we'll be showing the work Garden, which uh, is such um, it's such a wonderful piece because I feel like it really showcases essentially what we deal with a lot is uh, sort of natural, basic human urges that we have in relationship to one another. So you're going to see two men and two women um, sort of working out exactly how we relate to one another when we're open to one another when we close and then it's completely housed then in really really physical structured athletic work okay well this is happening tomorrow at the florida dance festival but we uh we don't have to wait that long to see these uh -huh. two dance no nope, they're going to dance for us now douglas gillespie leslie cross thank you both very much for there from the kate ware company and we're going to send you over there Go take a, right. take a little Thank walk and, and show us your magic. And for our, our viewers at home, if you want more information about the uh, dance festival, we will have it at daytimeonline.tv, our website. Take it away.